something I don't know. Okay, it says it's recording. And it did. Oh, look, receiving your content. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's see if it's going to work. That would be awesome. Okay, it is working. There it is. It's working. So that's how you do it. It's actually not so hard after all. Um, you put your. Uh, well, I lost. Got away from the page. You put that. Uh, you put this address in there. And then you put forward slash your username and then dot your stream key. That's what you do. So. Um, and I'm going to pause this so it won't be using up more resources and uh, yeah oh yeah and simple stream recorder follows me around the desktop so uh, whatever I show will work and now it's just using a little a lot heavier doing streaming a whole lot heavier and I'm also doing OBS at the same time but 40% um, now I want when you're just recording a video it was only doing uh, uh, went blank. It was only doing about 17% generally, I thought, from what I remember. I thought it might go down after a little bit, but it looks like it's going to ride right there at 39-40%. Um, that could be a problem, you know, trying to stream for a couple of hours working on the computer, but it might be doable. And, uh, you know, I can't do cameras, but that's okay. I mean, of course, I could do uh backdoor trick and of course i wouldn't be trying to actually i could be saving a video from obs at the same time but see how much and just watch my resources i may try that if i can't get obs working that is something that could be done then so everything that i uh, do here now is being streamed which is cool and now i'm just so flustered that it actually worked that easy once you figure out what to do I don't know what to do. Oh, my stream health is not good now. Um, let's see what happens if I play it back. I can actually see it. Yeah, okay. I can actually see what I just showed about that. Because I, you know, when you pause it, you can do that. Now let me re re uh, load it, and it'll come back up to where I'm at now. <clears throat> But it isn't, uh, stream health is not good though. I might need to drop back on the uh, frames per second. Well, no, you're supposed to. It's been doing that. YouTube was doing that on me all the time anyway. It, was, it would start out yellow and then it would get better. And then sometimes uh, I would lose my stream. That's why I don't want to stream only. It's because sometimes the stream gets... Uh, broken and OBS will automatically reconnect and you don't lose a thing in your recording you know as a matter of fact if it reconnects fast enough you um, your stream won't even be you won't even be noticeable in your stream I thought at times well I'm gonna have to go, to go looking at the video and say okay what am I gonna have to upload my backup and uh, didn't end up having to so uh, I keep these both open Simple screen recorder. Should be making a video right now. Oh, no, I'm not making a video right now. I'm doing a stream, so you're not going to see anything. Okay, that makes sense now. I'm confused. Uploads to do. I need to, I put those over there just temporarily to up, do uploads, and now I'm... Uh, I don't, I, gotta, I don't want to leave them in there. So anyway, um, yeah, the stream is not very happy. Let's see. What are we getting? This tells you exactly what, you, okay. I'm staying steady on my frames per second. 1920 by 1080. Our TMP file size. I'm only doing uh, 800, 400 at 900 kilobits per second, even though I was set at 3,000. Now, OBS was defaulted to 2,500, and that worked good, uh, unless, um, 
Yeah, and I wouldn't let the previews keep playing since it works the machine that hard. Unless uh, that went up to 1,100 and something. So this is, uh, that's probably why my stream health isn't good. Um, machine, my machine probably can't quite, yeah, it's still staying up there. My machine probably can't handle that high bit rate. Well, especially twice, uh, you know, two, two, um, machine, two programs running at the same time. I, what I need to do is, uh, go ahead and stop OBS and see if it, uh, <clears throat> gets any better on the stream. <coughs> yeah, I think I will. So, uh, yeah, see, now I can switch to the camera. And of course, Simple Screen Recorder can see the preview here. Um, you see whatever whatever desktop I'm on. So, uh, and it's paused right now. But uh, So I'm going to stop my OBS, <coughs> see if that improves things, and close <coughs> OBS, <coughs> and see if that improves that stream. Well, the only way I can conceive really using it, though, is to run them both at the same time. <coughs> um so that OBS would be my backup stream. So it may not really be a solution because um, might as well just record and upload like I've been doing. I'm just really getting tired of doing that. But I'm spending so much time trying to fix it. Uh, you know, I'm spending more time trying to fix it than I had, was, was when I was just uploading each day. Okay, so I'm going to stop this, uh, this OBS and leave the, let's see if it's still running. Yeah, it's still running, but it's still yellow. So, um, oh, I forgot to switch to the desktop. But anyway, I'm going to stop OBS now. All right. Okay, so make sure that that video is done before you close OBS. Make sure it's all completely, I uh, always give it a little bit. Make sure it's done encoding the last bits of that video. Hasn't made any difference yet. I think it might just be the settings. <clears throat> those I couldn't pay any attention to those ones in those instructions. They were 2015, 2016. Or maybe, maybe they were both 2015. But anyway, that's not what... Uh, YouTube's warning now. I think I'll go into that here in a minute. Yeah, I think that's done. So I'm going to close OBS all together and see if that helps matters any. Definitely will help the machine, and that's what I'm thinking. If the CPU is not trying to encode two videos at once, then maybe uh, that might even help the CPU usage go down over here on this one. I guess streaming, I mean, uh, my settings are the same, but uh, for some reason streaming is harder on, the, use more resources than uh, just making a video did yesterday. So uh, I keep wanting to go see the video, but it's, it's just going to YouTube, that's all. Yeah, that's not changing. Um, let's see. There's where I went offline. Oh, I was wondering if you'd be able to hear that music and all that, but no. Oh, yeah, because it's not played on the desktop. Yeah, that uh, you have to turn on monitoring, and of course you, that drive you crazy. You don't get the reverb, you know, real bad echo and everything. Okay, <clears throat> so, I mean, it's not, at least it's yellow, I mean, if it's not red, if it was red, then it would be really an unusable stream, but, huh, I'm really kind of not quite sure why. This is different than I've been doing, well, now, yeah, this is, I, I was doing 2,500 kilobits, I always want to say megabits, but it's kilobits. On you, that was the default, and well, OBS, except for one thing is I had a box check that said adhere basically adhere to the streaming services what they want, 
So it could have been 3,000 uh, kilobits. I think I have this set. I've already forgotten now. I think I set it on 4,000 kilobits because I thought, well, that, I was thinking that'll give me some headroom for uh, drop. I didn't want it to drop me because I knew it would drop like this. Up, see how it's going up and down. I didn't want it to drop below 3,000. So I thought, well, I'll do 4,000 because you don't do like 3,500. You do 3,000, 4,000, so on, so on. So, uh, well, in this one, I think that was the low. Well, that no, that wasn't the lowest one you could pick, but it was the one closest one to what YouTube wanted. Whatever I picked, I've already forgotten. Um, you can pause, and I get well, you wouldn't want to do that on a live stream. That uh, that would break your live stream, I'm sure. But it does work. I've done it. But uh, okay, so I'm gonna get in that. I'm gonna see if I can find that page. Um, I'm not sure where I put it. Let's go to YouTube again. YouTube info. Oh yeah, I was looking at the ones that are YouTube videos, but I don't want a video. I want to. Uh, Live encoder settings, bit rates. Yeah, that's one of them. What else is in here? Because the one the one thing that's not showing up in there is what file types they expo Oh, that's for uploading, not for live. Well, no, you wouldn't need that. Okay, so this is the page I'm pretty sure we'll go to it. Yep, yeah, still yellow. We'll just see how well it works. <clears throat> okay, so this is live encoder settings, bit rates, resolutions, and so on and so forth. See, they're saying you can do 4K now, and I'm doing 1080p, and see, 3,000 to 6,000. Now, my actual cameras are uh, doing 720, but not at 60 frames per second. They're doing, trying to do 30 frames per second. So, see, that that's 1,500 to 4,000. But that's not what I'm. That's what I'm sending over my network to OBS on this machine. It's 720p, and you want to have two cameras and and all that. And usually I just stream one at a time. I can do both, and sometimes I do. But that's going to my machine, and then my machine is sending out 1920 by 1080, which is what my screen resolution is on this computer. And it was doing 2500 uh, kilobits per second. That's what OBS was showing, but like I said, that checkbox it says adhere to streaming service. So I thought, well, is it bumping it up invis invisibly? Uh, when it was working, it was all working fine until you know on those. I hadn't been looking at the settings. I just went with the defaults because they were working. Um, and so then the rest of the things you need to do is well, RTMP streaming. That's what I'm doing right now. Well, I guess that's what you that's what you're doing. Period. That's what you do with YouTube is RTMP streaming. Uh, video codec, H.264. See, they don't take anything but H.264. 1080p at 30 frames per second. So that's what I'm sending. Uh, 4.1. Is that the audio? What is that? Oh, that's the version number. <clears throat> uh, then there's another one. Oh, that's a higher resolution. But see, I'm not at the highest resolution by any means, so that shouldn't be a problem. And I have 10 uh, gigabit uh, upload speed on my ISP, so that shouldn't be a problem. But I've definitely got a yellow stream. <clears throat> um yeah, it's just steady going to stay right in there. It did go down, wasn't it, at 40? I think it did go down a little bit. That's usually the highest that OBS would do, is maybe 35. So it's not as good as OBS. <coughs> uh, OB, and that's while it was making a video. Well, of course, that, well, yeah, that's, we're looking, I was looking at the CPU usage. So, um, now then, now the keyframe, I didn't even see a place for that in this app. There may be, uh, that is, well, that's about 
keeping the video in sync. And then the audio codec, they only accept AAC or MP3. I'm doing MP3. I don't know if AAC might be better, you know, for like hardware usage. I don't know. Bitrate in, uh, encoding, CBR, constant bitrate. Now that's where I'm wondering because that's not constant. <laughs> that's changing a lot. And it's not anywhere near what I'm set at. So I just kind of wonder if I could drop it down and it actually would work better. But uh, it might throw everything off since, you know. I mean, I know uh, when I first started, you had to get every one of these settings exactly right and you had to manually set them. And it was just a. Well, like I said, I never got that Wirecast to work, and I got XSplit to work. It ha I think it had a little bit better automatic settings for you. And uh, OBS is really good uh, about that, too. I mean, I never had to fiddle with it a whole lot until now, trying to fix it. <clears throat> I did have to, uh, I kept having a yellow stream, and I fixed it by, well, I fixed it by changing it to four seconds, the keyframe frequency. Maybe that's what I needed to see if I could do that in here. That's not the same thing. That's the preview. I can't change anything while you're streaming, of course. So, yeah, I see the maximum is 1,196, somewhere around 1,180. But it sure does jump back and forth a lot. Uh, I don't know. I've never seen a readout like that. Maybe that's normal. Uh, but it doesn't seem like it would be. <clears throat> and then the um, now recommended advanced settings now I never found this in OBS any of these settings except for well the audio that's just, that's the default and I left it like that and then actually in OBS it was 160 and I changed it to 128 trying to see if that would make it work but it didn't matter and you can also use uh, HTML5 I guess and web our webm yeah this is for streaming i just realized this is for streaming not uh live encoder this is not for uh uploads there's a whole nother you know a little bit more more things supported for uploads more types of files but uh um see what that's going to have to say about HTML5. Oh, HTML video player. Yeah, I'm not sure, but that is talking more about some of the other. Don't need YouTube, YouTube in there. Okay. So, I'm not quite sure. And then uh, WebM is, this is actually developed. WebM was actually developed by uh, Google. And they used to really push it, and uh, but as far as YouTube goes, they don't push it like they did. It's supposed to be open source and everything. It was. Yeah. Open media. But it didn't, it does not stream as well as, uh, as uh, you don't get for the same file size and it, uh, and <clears throat> it, it's not as good a quality as MP4 or actually, I think now FLV, oddly, uh, FLV used to, I never used it before I got OBS Studio, but it looks good now, and it's a good, not too big of a, well, it's bigger the files than they used to be, of course, well, yeah, because I'm doing a lot longer videos, but, uh, yeah, it's just staying constant yellow, it ha I cannot catch it being green, period, so, but it's not crashed or anything, it didn't quit, but what it means, what the yellow means is, uh, uh, good, your viewers are happy. Okay, viewers may be experiencing minor issues. There may be some caching and stuff. Uh, bad, potentially serious. And usually if it turns red, you, you most of the time you end up losing your stream shortly after it turns red. <laughs> Great, you're not streaming. So, um, well, it's working. 
that's good. At least now I can stream a desktop video. Now I know how to do that. So, uh, you know what I wish I would have done before I click stream? It may save it, but I, w I would like to have renamed that and saved it as, you know, YouTube stream. One for saving files and one for, because you have different profiles you can have in there. Not exactly sure how you do it all, but you have to stop it now to do that, so. Um, so, oops, let's see, reload, I want to check it one more time. My throat's kind of sore from talking every day lately for long periods of time. Yeah. Get. So, yeah, when your stream, see your stream's about however much that is behind what you just said. So, uh, you know, usually I use my laptop to do that, but I wasn't uh, to to preview my stream. But I wasn't planning on even doing a stream, so didn't have it up and running. So here's what I think I'll do now. Is it any better? Let's see. It's 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 better than it was at first since I turned off OBS. <clears throat> It's pretty cool. I just still can't quite imagine how they can both work together. I'm going to open OBS again. Let's see if it goes back up when I just open OBS. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot here. It's the same right now. OBS is running. Just sitting there running right now, it's doing 3%. <clears throat> Sometimes it, well, no, it never does 3% when it's recording. I mean, not that low. It's more than that. Okay, so Firefox. Now, what I'm going to do, yeah, I'll leave it running for now because I want to watch the stream stop. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to go straight to desktop. Okay, back on OBS and simple stream recorder at the same time. Let's see what uh, resource. Yeah, now I jumped up to 40%, so... But it shows it to be in a simple screen recorder. Well, Firefox is using more too now. But that's a quite a bit of work. You couldn't really do much else on the computer. You couldn't you make a desktop video showing your work or anything that way. I'm going to reload this. And then I'm going to... Well, yeah, I can't really sit here and watch uh, <coughs> the... Um, I can't watch this quit. I was thinking I would watch this quit, but uh, but I can't. Uh, oh, don't you don't. And if you forget and don't pause this, and it's working your machine, and it'll just keep climbing. Better really watch out. See you. You see how much YouTube is uh, causing this YouTube uh, live stream page is causing to be used <clears throat> quite a bit. So. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop this stream now. Hit save. Don't hit cancel. It'll release your file. So I'm going to hit 